Hi there, and uh, welcome to MS DOS Game Reviews. Uh, if you're new here, this is the channel where we play ancient games in an emulator and record the results for posterity. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Today we are looking at Dungeons of Shalan, released for DOS in 1988. It was released in the United States by Soft Disk Publishing. So a 21 kilobyte download that is minute and it has a nice little uh, review here on uh, myabandonedway.com. I'm not affiliated, but uh, the site is quite useful if you're looking for old games. A um, couple of DOS screenshots and no comments or reviews. So this may be like a little uh, uh, obscure title. So let's go see what's in store. Uh, when you download the thing and extract it, you get these couple of files, and then I've made a dosbox.com file for it. I'm running CGA mode. The game runs really well on fast machines, uh, so it looks properly coded, but it only supports CGA. So Big Blue Discs presents Dungeons of Shalan. Programmed by whatever. That was a bit quick for me. So let's do instructions. I'm going to press I here. The evil Shalan awaits you in his magical dungeon. Search for the Emerald Bird and destroy Shalan as fast as possible. Deadly monsters will pursue you throughout the dungeons and attempt to confound your heroic efforts. Score points by killing monsters, uncovering clues and manipulating the right objects at the right times. The dungeon is composed of 21 rooms. Move the hero using the arrow keys, picking up and dropping objects with the spacebar. Travel from one room to another by passing through openings in the walls. Use keys to open locked doors. Always avoid landmine, poison lizards and drops of acid. And here we have some instructions. That's what the evil Shalom looks like. He has too many limbs. And uh, I'm not touching anything. This is just the uh, little demo mode that the game's got built in. And uh, you can pick up objects just by wandering over them and then pressing spacebar. And uh, yeah, you can't exactly hit things with. Uh, with the spacebar, I mean, you can if you if you eat spacebar again, you just drop the object. So all you need to do is have the object between you and whoever's attacking you. If it's a sword or a sunburst, um, so this is definitely a puzzling game, you know. And then there are all sorts of funny things that happen that per perturb the mechanics of the game. So there you go. There's things that take stuff away, things that bring stuff back. And then there are monsters. So yeah, just position the sword between you and that's a left and right only. Left and right only. And then yeah, that's a point. So even the zombies can only carry one object at a time. And there you go. Du, 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 du. So I like the little animations. It works really well. I'm, I'm fairly confident if you were to um, play this or in a emulate a really slow machine that would pl still play well. There's nothing ridiculously complicated. Um, so, Ghosts and Goals, Sunburst, Dragon Spider Skeleton, Sword Sword Sword, The Evil Shalon only by the Emerald Bird. So, uh, don't 
burn any objects that are not supposed to be burned. Sweet smell of orbs can always get you out of trouble. Sometimes worthless drinkers can do the job well. Okay. Okay. Fig, green bats. Okay, so we'll start the game and see what it is about. So you always have the same map when starting, and you can pick up an object. Point. There you go. Up, down, the object just stays there, so you only have two dimensions of defense. Oh, there you go, wandering through the maze. And I guess if you were to play this in anger, you'd actually map out. Oh, there's a sunburst, and that was the very useful boomerang coming to bring me stuff. It always brings me stuff. It brings the sunburst back. Uh, these are landmines, by the way. And, oh, 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 just get up next to me and then wait. What's up? There's time. Interesting. I wonder what that does. Can I kill him? Does it work like that? Okay, so obviously they just move in a specific pattern. That was close. Alrighty. What is that? Is that two objects? This is the furthest I've gone so far, I have to admit. Jade bird. Oh, and a spider. You have four more chances. Alrighty, let's uh, get that sword back. Spin around. And what is this? There's a key there. So yeah, exploring a map. Graphics works really well. The CJ mapping is awesome. And obviously I need a key and it looks like it might have to be a yellow key. So, oh, there's a, all sorts of things just coming at me. But what I actually need is a green key. Oh, and a red key. Okay, so your enemies pursue you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. That brings me another ghost. Are you guys serious? Is this thing? There we go. Right. Okay. Hey, the game has has definitely got something to it. It plays really well, I have to admit. So it brings me a dragon. Right. Anyways, um, I'm not going to give too much away on this. Um. The game is fun to play. Definitely does draw you in. Uh, I like the uh, the effects of things being brought away and stolen from you. And then, of course, the mapping aspect of it. So there's, there's a bit to explore. 
Uh, it could be could be fun to play with. Uh, I haven't I haven't really explored the game, but uh, yeah, uh, interesting interesting game. Uh, very very obscure, very well written. I like it. Anyways, I'm going to call it here and say thank you very much for watching this little video. Hopefully you've liked it. And uh, I hope to see you on the next one. However, in the meantime, I uh, hope you have a fantastic day and uh, goodbye. Oh, escape kills your guy. Dun, dun, dun.